Hello everyone, uh, right now I'm going to be doing a video of this um, little mini indoor moto helicopter I got, three channel, um, by the brand Venom, I buy a lot of batteries, like your moto car batteries for my Traxxas Slash, Traxxas E-Revo and stuff from them, or at least I used to when I was in the hobby. Anyways, this is called the Micro Troop Transporter, um, I seen this at ACO, I didn't even know that this brand Venom made remote tool stuff, until I seen it at ACO for 50 bucks. On sale for 30 and then on top of that, I think I got some kind of discount. It came out to be like $26 or something. So, this is the, uh, you know, dual rotor um, helicopter. It's really neat. I really like it. Um, it's pretty cheaply made. Uh, not too long ago, in fact, just a few minutes ago, I made a video of my Saima S107G. This thing is a lot higher build quality than this. This is pretty much foam and plastic, whereas this is pretty much metal um, and a few plastic uh, pieces like this. But this thing is a lot more durable, I would say, a lot tougher than than this one. Uh, I've never broke this. I've only flown it maybe five, five or ten times. Um, it's cool. It's neat. Um, it's definitely better than the Air Hogs foam ones and stuff that you get at Walmart for like 20 bucks or whatever. This thing is ten times better than those. So, uh, I'll pretty much show you the basics. This thing takes six AA batteries. You can charge this via um, this, which uses your batteries. The charging port's right there on the bottom. Or you can use something like this. This came with my uh, Sima S107 helicopter that I just showed you. This is a USB charger. Um, and you can charge it through your computer or whatever. Or I got a USB to AC wall adapter, which is your standard wall outlet. So I plug this in there, plug it in the wall, and charge it through that. Um, save your batteries that way. So this thing's got a little LED light. I believe that is it. That'll flash and stuff when you're flying it. And I think it's got another one right down here. Yeah. Um, On-off switch is on the bottom right there. It's got these little fake wheels. They don't spin or anything. They're just little plastic, you know, stubs pretty much. It looks cool. I really like the looks of this thing. It's got the Venom's little logo of the Cobra or Snakehead or whatever. See if it'll focus on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks really neat. Got these two missiles or whatever right there. Yeah, so you could get this in a few different colors. Um, let's see if the box... The box doesn't show the different colors. But there was this color, um, like a gray one, and then maybe like a darker green one, I believe. However, the store only had this color, or else I probably would have got one of the other ones. So yeah, as far as the remote, it's got our up, down, our forward, backward, and left, right. Uh, which isn't going left and right like this. It's not going left or right. It's rotating the helicopter like this. So I'll turn this on and I'll show you guys in just a sec. These, I don't know what they do. Um, it says F and B for forward, backward, front, back, maybe. Um, however, I don't, I don't think they really do anything. Uh, my phone is ringing. Just one second, I'm going to quiet that. Sorry about that. Alright, so I hate when that happens in YouTube videos, so I apologize for me being that person. <laughs> So anyways, this is your little infrared thing, whatever, that sends uh, the signal to this copter. Um, this is your left-right trim. If it's going too much to the left, you're going to want to turn that to the right. If it's going too much to the right, turn it to the left. And your little uh, LED indicator light, which I believe is like red or orange when it's charging. Um, like, I don't know, whatever color when you turn it on, yellow. Yeah, your on-off switch. So, uh, all right. So I'll turn this on and I'll show you guys. Perhaps that wasn't an LED. Um, there's another LED, like a yellow one, in there. However, this does not have a gyro or whatever it's called, which means right now it's not level. I can still. I can still take off with it. The ones with the the gyro, I, I believe it's called the gyro, I'm not positive, uh, it has to be on a level surface for a sec like this. It can't be like this and take off or whatever. So 
Let me uh, move this camera back a little bit and I'll show you guys just a little bit of this flying. I just charged the battery, so it, it should work pretty well. It's kind of difficult. I'm trying to keep it low so the camera can see it. Ah. <laughs> All right, let me set that up again. Um, it's a lot easier to fly when you're not recording because right now I'm flying through the screen I'm actually looking you know at my camera screen and trying to see where to fly it It's not going so well, so let me Maybe not worry about the camera so much and just fly it a little bit see if that helps That was quite the quite the predicament right there. Uh, the camera's right up against the wall. I mean, not the camera. The the helicopter's right up against the wall, so it's not leaving me room to turn around. Let's see if I can get out of that situation. There we go. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, I like that little LED light there. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see if you can see it on the ground. <laughs> I am by no means a pro at flying these. Um, I am intermediate at best, or whatever, um, so I could could be a lot better. I don't really care to. Uh, I'm kind of just just on the edge of getting out of remote control cars and planes and boats and stuff. That was a big hobby of mine for a while. Right now I'm gearing more into um, real life things, I guess. I don't really have the money for the stuff anymore. Uh, it's not that I don't have it, it's that I choose not to spend it on things like this. All my leftover money... Uh, pretty much goes into airsoft. That's my biggest hobby. So Yeah, so you get the idea um, This thing is pretty easy to fly. It's it's slightly more difficult than your standard uh, Helicopters like this. That's only one set of routers or uh, blades or whatever. This thing is slightly more difficult However, you could learn this you could probably master this thing in like 15 minutes or something so I would recommend it for beginners or experts or whatever. It's fun, easy. Um, charge time takes about 45 minutes to charge this, and you get about, um, it's hard to say, I'd say about six or seven minutes fly time out of it. So that's not bad. Um, I'm assuming the battery is going to just completely go bad uh, within a few more charges. My Sim S107 here, I charged it like 20 or 30 times total. And right now the battery, you can't even fly this anymore. The battery just sucks on it. Um, I got a review of this on my channel also. So if you want to check that out, I apologize for when I flew this thing, the battery died uh, right after I charged it. I mean, it just doesn't hold a charge anymore. I'm assuming all little helicopters do that. After 20 or 30 charges, they just stop accepting a charge, which is unfortunate. Um, so yeah, again, this was just a review and a little flight test of the Micro Troop Transporter by Venom. Again, I paid $30 from this or for this from Aco on sale from 50. I might do another video of this later, me just flying it around, not talking so much. Um, yeah, so I would recommend it for 30 bucks. Um, I probably wouldn't pay more than that, but 
it's a good little fun indoor helicopter. So yeah, thanks for watching.